right, so I'm going to show you how you can move around from project to project. Uh, somebody was asking me on uh, the comments of how do I get from one project to another? Well, this is the, the newest project here that I just put in. It's called Nighttime Bike Ride in A1A. Now, if you look, you're going to see your window here. And this is your viewing window of your project. Now, and here's your timeline that I'm running through. And then just under your viewing window, you're going to see a couple icons here. And then under that, you're going to, you're going to see a bar. And it's going to have a little time uh, set on the bar. And if I move it, that time moves. You can see here it moves. But right next to this is the name that you've called your um, project. And next to that name is a little arrow. So it, go, it says, if you notice, it says, go back in timeline history. So if I click on this, what's going to happen is I'm going to go back to the project just before it. And then if I go back again, and I can keep going and until I find whichever project I want it to look at. Now, if I want to go back, I come over here on the other side of the numbers. This gives you the, the length of your project. As I move forward, you'll see there are different lengths and different names. And if I hover my mouse just over this one arrow here, you're going to see it comes up a little window that says, Go Forward in Timeline History. I come over here, and I put it just to the back. It says, Go Back in Timeline History. So this is telling you what you can do. Usually when you hover your mouse over something, it kind of gives you an idea of what the heck it is. Go forward in timeline history. This gives you your name. <laughs> and then it says go backwards. So if I click on this, I'm going to go to the project that I made after I made this project. So let me just do it. And now if I want to go, this is my last project, by the way, how to move back and forth through uh, projects in Final Cut Pro. I guess I should change it to timeline histories. <laughs> go back in timeline history. I can't go forward in timeline history because this is the last project. So anyway, that's how you do that. But that's how you move through your timeline to different projects. Now the other way you would do it is just come up here to your projects window and you can just basically click on a project. And uh, let's say I go to this one and I double click on it. It's going to bring it up into the timeline. Now if I go here, it's going to bring it up the end timeline. But you're going to notice something. If you do this, it doesn't give me the option to move forward to a project in front of it. So it's only when you have this that you can do that. See how it comes back? This allows you to travel through your different projects. All right, so I showed you how you can move back and forth this way. But if you bring your cursor over, to this little arrow box where it says go back in timeline and you press down on your mouse and hold it, it's going to bring up a box of all of your different projects. And then you can go through them by holding on your mouse and find the one that you want to look at. Bam. And then that still allows you to go back and forth through the projects. Here we are again. Bam. So you press down and hold. And it gives you that box. Press down and hold gives you that box. Or if you just click it once, it moves it. Press down and hold gives you a window in which you can pick whatever one you want. Tarpons at Delray Beach Rec. And that, that still allows you to move back and forth. So, But from this position here, I can only go forward. I can't go back. So I've got to go this way. When I do that, then it gives me that option. All right. So that's, uh, that's how you do it. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff with Final Cut Pro. Peace out.